what's up guys this is Rajat Gupta welcome to my channel in today's video we will be discussing how to access your uh, Samsung cloud data on your computer so as you guys know our Samsung phones automatically and manually back up your data like images and videos onto your Samsung cloud but it doesn't let you see like you know it doesn't let you manage your Samsung cloud data because there is no way Samsung has not put any way to actually access your Samsung cloud data uh, via computer so we'll be discussing that in this video We'll be making use of a, of a software that is provided by Samsung itself and we'll be installing that in our computer to actually manage the contents of your Samsung Cloud on your computer. So let me set up my devices and I'll walk through how you can do that. So I'm on my computer right now and to be able to actually download your images and videos from your Samsung Cloud, you actually need this app called Samsung Gallery. It's available from Samsung but it's only uh, on your Microsoft Store. So, uh, or either through this link, which I'm going to share in this video. But let me show you, uh, if you're on your win uh, Windows computer, just click on Microsoft, Microsoft Store and search for this app called Samsung Gallery. You will come across this app. As you can see, it is actually not installed on my computer, but I can click this button to install it, which I'm going to do right now. But, but let me show you what this app is. So the four other videos that you actually take on your Samsung device, is actually automatically or, or manually backed up to your Samsung Cloud as you can see in the video that is play, playing uh, right now on my screen and uh, there is no way to actually access your Samsung Cloud through your computer through your PC the only way is to uh, is through this app called Samsung Gallery this is how Samsung has designed it so using this app you can actually download all your content from Samsung Cloud to your computer which we're gonna do in this video uh, the requirement to actually uh, install this app on your computer is actually you need a Windows 10 computer minimum. This is what it is. So as you can see from the system requirements on my screen, this application needs Windows 10 version, this or higher. Uh, so basically you need a Windows 10, um, you know, like if you have a Windows 8, it will work. This app will actually work on Windows 10 or higher. And you actually need a 64-bit computer to, you know, for this app to actually work very well. Uh, but I do have a Windows 10 computer, so without wasting any time, let's install this app. It is starting downloading. It doesn't tell me the size of the app though. But yeah, it tells me right now it is 68.68 MB. And with this download speed, um, it's actually done. Let's give it a minute to install and it's actually installed. So let's click this button to actually launch, launch this app. Yeah, it's taking a little longer because it's actually installing. It's just installed and you know running for the first time. Samsung Cloud Sync, add local folders, create your stories. So what we're gonna do, we actually need to click on this button to uh, actually sync up our Samsung Cloud because this is what we're gonna do in this video. So let's click that. And as you can see, there are some settings at, uh, at the background, which uh, we can do uh, after we uh, log into our Samsung account. Um, so I'm just going to synchronize my Samsung Cloud account to this Samsung Gallery app. So I'm just going to put my credentials, which I'll be blocking. All right, I think I have successfully logged in. And yes, as you can see, see where all your shots were taken. I don't want to allow that. So click, I'm clicking deny. And as you can see, it says 15 GB or 15 GB use. It is actually my situation right now. Gallery is 13.39 GB. Uh, so my Samsung Cloud is like almost full because I do have like a lot of videos and images in my Samsung Cloud. But yeah, as you can see, my Samsung Cloud has been synced with my computer. So using this, I should be able to actually download my photos and videos from my Samsung Cloud. So actually using this download button, you can, you can actually download all of your content in your Samsung Cloud you, just, just with a click like all of your gallery items like photos and videos will be downloaded to your computer with just a click so i'm not gonna do that but if you want you can just take a backup of your samsung cloud with uh, with a click using this download button and i would advise you to keep this box uh, checked because even if you delete some content from your samsung cloud it won't be deleted from your computer it, it will be like a local backup copy uh, once you have done uh, just go back uh, after you have clicked the back button you can see there are some settings on your screen which you can manage like the folders where you want to actually back up your content to your computer. Um, I'm not going to mess around with, with, with this right now. If you want, you can change the location of your folders too. Click the back button again. 
And after clicking the back button, you see you are actually viewing all of your content of your Samsung Cloud on your computer. And it's actually refreshing right now, so it, it's continuously syncing also. So if you, if you scroll down, I can see all of my images that are actually in my phone, which are actually uh, backed up to Samsung Cloud and now available on my screen on my computer. And to be able to download these photos and videos to your computer, you actually need to hover on this image and, and then actually click on this checkbox like one by one. Uh, in case you actually click on the photo, it will actually open in a open in a like full screen to actually show you the image. It won't select it, so you know just select on the on the checkbox, and you see there there is a download button right there on the screen. So if you click on the download button, uh, you can see at the bottom it says preparing your download, and your uh, it is downloading like 10.91 MB download has been completed, and it will be saved in the folder we just configured. So if you go back to settings, you can see the download folder is inside my pictures and Samsung Cloud download. So let's visit that folder. Here you are again, go one more and you see my images are actually being downloaded to this folder. So this is how you can actually download all your images and videos to your computer from Samsung Cloud using this app called Samsung Gallery. So for now, I'm actually really impressed with this app because there is no other way to actually access your Samsung Cloud data from your computer using this app which is available from Samsung via your Microsoft.com or, or your Microsoft Store, you can actually access your folders. This app is coming like really well. It's actually working very fine. I don't have any issues with it. There are some settings like if you click on this button, it will actually add a folder in your Samsung Cloud. And uh, if you synchronize your Samsung Cloud to your phone, that will create a folder in your phone also. So you can just play around with this app and I believe it's actually working fine. I'm not seeing any issues with it. If you see the review on Microsoft Store or Microsoft.com, you will see like, you know, some users are actually not happy, but for me, it's actually working fine. So uh, why don't you give it, give it a try yourself too? And this is pretty much it from this video. I hope you liked this video and it was useful for you. And if it was, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to keep receiving awesome content like this every week. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.